Hi guys, I'm Kiki and on today's episode of how to get healthy and lose weight fast, I'm going to be sharing my seven easy steps to help you get started. When you're changing your lifestyle and your diet, it can be very overwhelming and just intimidating quite frankly. So I want to help ease that transition and help get you going. So let's get started. Step number one is to know your goals. So my goal was to cure and reverse all the health issues I was having and hopefully lose some weight along the way. So what I did is I went and got a baseline and I recommend you do the same. Find out what you're starting with. I went and got all my blood work done and it came back terrible. High blood pressure, high cholesterol, triglycerides. I was pre-diabetic. You guys heard it in the last couple videos. So I also got weighed and I was good. 40 pounds overweight. The one thing I'll say if you're gonna be weighing yourself is please do not be getting on that scale every day or every other day, even once a week. At most, once every two weeks and preferably only once a month. I don't like the unhealthy relationship that can develop between an individual and the scale. I want this journey for you guys to be about ultimate health, knowing that a healthy weight is just a natural byproduct of eating this way. So just know it will happen for you and just let time do its thing and consistency do its thing and you'll get there. Don't freak out about what the scale says every day or every week. So step two is to start educating yourself. This is where you're gonna to wanna to start reading books, looking at these doctors' websites, looking at the lectures that they have up on YouTube. There's a really good documentary on Netflix called What the Health, and I like this documentary because all of these doctors are interviewed in this film, and it's just a nice condensed way to get the information. Sometimes you don't have time to read an entire book, but you wanna get started or you're interested in what I'm saying, so I like to recommend this documentary because it's a quick way to get all of the information in a condensed form. You're gonna wanna educate yourselves because this way of eating is completely against the mainstream. Everything that's popular right now is high protein, high fat, low carb. I was doing that for years and I was getting worse and worse and I couldn't lose weight. These guys are saying, no, the way to reversing sickness and disease and staying healthy and maintaining a healthy weight is through a high starch, low fat, plant-based diet. So. Educate yourself because you're gonna be bombarded with the opposite information by the media, by the gym you go to, by your friends and family. You know, I had a somewhat difficult time because all my friends and family thought I was crazy and being ridiculous and that I just watched some documentary on YouTube and decided to completely change my lifestyle. The fact is, I did my research, I looked at these doctors, I looked at the information they were presenting. I already tried the other stuff and it didn't work. I tried this and it changed my life. So, educate yourself because that will be the backup that you need when you start doubting yourself or doubting you know, what people are saying to you. So step number three is to start getting ideas of the meals that you're gonna start with so you know what groceries to get. So I started with rice bowls with veggies and teriyaki, burritos full of beans and rice and potatoes with hot sauce, bowls of whole grain pasta and low fat marinara sauce. I'll also link some of my videos to easy meal ideas and easy recipes. I am still getting my channel up and running, so I'm gonna be trying to get up as much as possible, as quick as possible for you guys. All these guys have recipes in their books and on their websites that are completely free, so those are great resources. Again, I'm gonna give you guys everything in the description box. Step number four is get your fridge and your pantry clean. You wanna get all the animal products out, all the dairy, meat, cheese, everything that is not health promoting anymore for you, okay? So get it out so you're not tempted to just snack on, you know, that little piece of cheese that's left. We wanna start transitioning and getting your body cleaned out because the faster you get rid of that stuff and stop putting it in your body, the faster your body can heal and start letting go of all that unwanted weight. You're gonna need to get rid of your cooking oils and nut butters so that you can stay low fat and then step five is to go ahead and get your supplies and get your groceries. So 
I don't think you need a fancy Instapot or rice cooker. I'm not gonna lie, an Instapot is super helpful, but I just got one. I've been doing this for a year and I just got one a month ago. You can do just fine without it. The only thing I will say is that you do need like a good blender so that you can be blending things up well. If you work outside the home, then get containers, get bags so you can freeze food as well. And then my number one tip in this step is to make sure you buy convenience foods. Convenience foods being already cooked rice in the freezer section and the rice that is in bowls that you can just pop in the microwave at work. Because remember, you're gonna be eating high starch, low fat. So the bulk of your calories is gonna be coming from starches. So think rice, potatoes, whole grain noodles, even at this point, you know, just white noodles. Just think starches, beans, corn. Convenience foods are really important so that when you don't have something prepared, you can just grab a bowl of microwavable rice and a can of split pea soup and pour it over your rice or the, the box or can of low fat vegan chili and throw that over your rice, things like that. There's a lot of companies that sell oil-free french fries. I get those all the time because there's inevitably a night that I'm not prepared and my kids are starving and we had sports and music lessons to go to and I am just too exhausted to cook. I just pop those fries in the oven and then steam up a vegetable and there they have it, veggies and fries, which is actually one of their favorite meals. Step number six is optional and it is to start moving your body. All the exercise that I do and have done this last year where I've regained my health and lost 40 pounds is walk. I take a somewhat brisk walk, 30 to 40 minutes a day. If you don't have 30 to 40 minutes, that's fine. Start with 10 brisk minutes a day. If there's stairs in your office, take the stairs anything you can do to start moving your body. Even if, if you're so busy, you just can't, then count your trip to the grocery store as your walking time. Really, the idea is just to get moving and you get to the, to the point where you have so much energy and you feel so healthy that you just want to move your body. But to begin with, just start small. But if you like to mountain bike and do CrossFit and do these other things, then go ahead and do those. Keep moving your body. So step number seven is to me the most important and that is to support yourself. You can support yourself by having the YouTube videos to the lectures and recipes that you like saved to your computer so they're easy to go to when you're feeling doubtful or confused or feeling like you're gonna cheat and go, you know, eat a bunch of really bad like animal food for you. This is what I mean by supporting yourself, making sure you have the resources available to look at again, to convince you that you're doing the right thing. So YouTube is great. Have your websites, have your books. I read The Start Solution like a dozen times. I still love going through this book. Every time that you know, I would have family or friends telling me that I was gonna ruin my health doing this or the media is so you know keto crazy right now, I would pull out my book and start looking again, reading the research and reading why I was doing this and remembering the thousands and thousands of people that these doctors have helped get better. And now I'm sitting here sharing information with you because I am one of those people that have completely regained their health. Another thing you can do is get a buddy, get a family member to start doing this with you and looking at the research. That's a really great way to have some support. My dad started this journey with me and he's done a fantastic job. He's lost almost 50 pounds and has regained so much health. It's incredible in just one year. The other thing you can do is find a food group that works this way. I am going to do some research, see if I can find more options for you guys. I do have a food group on Facebook. It's called Kiki's Plantiful Kitchen and I post easy recipes up there and I try to give you guys support and show you my tips and tricks and hacks for making things even simpler. So that's it guys. Those are my seven steps. Again, it's to one, know your goals, two, educate yourself, three, get some meal ideas that you want to start with, four, get your, your fridge and pantry cleaned out, five, get your supplies together, six, move your body, and seven, support yourself. Stick around, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna keep trying to get this information up for you guys. My life has been so radically impacted that I just wanna share with you and help make it easier for you than it was for me because I was trying to 
figure everything out and it was so overwhelming that if I can ease that in any way for you guys, it makes me so happy because I really wish that I had had something to simplify this journey for myself. You guys can find me on Instagram at Plantiful Kiki and Facebook as well.